Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. Wanted to throw together a quick tutorial for Yari, who watches my channel in Helsinki in Finland. Says, thanks for the fantastic Adobe Audition tutorials. I was wondering if you could answer this question. When music comes to an abrupt stop on a beat, I want it to reverberate for a few seconds until it decays to silence. Is this possible easily in Audition? Yes, it is. Have a listen to this music bed. <music> Okay, so we're counting for the first beat of the second bar. So, one, two, three, four, one. There is the first beat of the second bar. Let's place a marker in there by hitting the M key. There is marker zero, one. Then I'll go into my multi-track here and drag that music bed in. Now, when I zoom in, you'll see the marker is still intact on the first beat of the second bar. So what I'm going to do is zoom right in, grab that beat, command K to split it, and pull it onto the second track. Now I'm going to cut off the rest of that, just leave a little bit of the beat behind. Have a listen now. Okay, now I want to reverberate that very last beat. Very simple to do that, just go into the effects menu on track two. I'll go to reverb, and I'll go to full reverb. Click OK to that. Select Great Hall, one of my favorites, and play now. Now you'll probably notice that stop is still a little bit abrupt. It doesn't sound quite smooth, does it? Well, there's a way to get around that. Just select the wave on the second track, drag it out a little bit, both ways, and then pull in the fade out and fade in, and also fade out on track one, so you're cross-fading, and have a listen now. That's a much more natural end to a song, and it's great if you're making beat mixes or music montages, and instead of cutting a song dead, you can add a little bit of reverb onto the end of each track. I hope this has helped you, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials just like this one.